ordering strength of bonds of intramolecular forces. So in this problem it says rank the following bonds in terms of bond strength. So they wanted to know between these atoms which one has the strongest bond and the weakest bonds. So we have three examples, chlorine and chlorine, so Cl2, sodium and sodium, so maybe a sodium crystal, and sodium chlor chlorine. Sodium and chlorine, which would be sodium chloride when combined in a bond. So we have three different types of bonds, and let's figure out what type of bonds they are so then we can easily determine their strength. So Cl2 is actually a nonpolar covalent bond. They're two nonmetals, they have the same electronegativity, so that means they can share electrons equally. Or, and so that means none of them have a dipole moment, so it's a non-polar covalent bond. Na is a metallic bond. If it's atoms of the same element and of metal group, they are forming metallic bonds. And so here, this is a metallic bond. And sodium and chlorine, sodium chloride that we have here, is actually an ionic bond because we have a metal and a non-metal, and they transfer electrons, so ionic bond. So we know that nonpolar is actually the weakest bond out of all of these three, so I'm going to put three here for the weakest bond for number one. Number two, sodium and sodium. Metallic bonds actually are between, are a little bit above polar covalent bonds, which I could put right here, even though we don't have a polar covalent bond there. It helps me to remember the order that they go in nonpolar, polar, and metallic. So metallic is the next strongest, so I'm going to put two here. And then three, sodium chloride is an ionic bond, and the ionic bonds we know are the strongest intramolecular bond. So I'm going to put one here, and that is the order that goes in, three, two, and one. So writing out what types of bonds they are and remembering the order can help you solve this problem.